Right, time for a mini harvest festival. And it will be a mini one, because I'm not actually getting a lot of stuff. So, I am going to harvest the potatoes today, which I have actually done two of the buckets already, and I did get quite a lot of stuff out of them. Yeah, it was enough for um, each bucket, it wasn't masses, but it was enough for you know, four or five people to have a decent dinner from. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, what I'll do today, I'll show you what is growing and I'm going to empty out one of the, the last bucket of potatoes. So I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll take this off now, show you through and then it'll be pointed down. But yeah, all right, let's, let's do that. Could you hear the red kites calling each other? I like the old red kites. <laughs> But when they, don't, when they never shut the fuck up, I can understand why they was classed as pests once. <laughs> so, these are the spring onions, and these have been, I think, they've, I think they've been cut twice. I'll show you the amount of bags of spring onions I've got, but it's great for things like um, soups and that. So when they get big enough, I just cut them off, and then they just grow again, so that's really good. That's all my bags of spring onions. I think there's about five of them. And there. Maybe more. Five and a half bags. Yeah. Certainly don't ever need to buy spring onions ever again, I'll tell you that. You know, as long as you don't mind eating the sort of, you know, some people want to eat the sort of stalk and not the least bit, but, you know, that's perfectly good for soups and all stuff like that and putting in things. Peppers are growing, you know, all right. It looks like we are going to start getting some peppers. Where's the end? Hang on. Can you see that? Oh yeah, there. Sorry, I didn't know where the point of the camera. There, so we are might get some peppers. Something is still eating all that. But I've searched around all over the plant, see if there's something on the plant. And I cannot find if anything on the plant, so maybe it's a slug or a snail. But yeah. I haven't been able to stop that. There's the potatoes that I'll be harvesting in a minute. That was the radishes or something, which I was never really interested in anyway. Carrots. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, that's good. So I've not looked at these for a while. Yeah, look. There are some. Yeah. I reckon I'll still leave this for a bit, though, because they don't look like they're going to be very big at the minute. They're a bit packed in there. Um, there are some odd tomatoes, but I didn't really do what I should have done. These should have been split up. Um, but there are some tomatoes on their own. One over here, somewhere. Um, that's got one, one or two on it. The cucumbers are still tiny. There's one there. And yeah, my fucking red kite's so loud, it's actually putting me off slightly. <laughs> and then you've got the tomatoes in here, which I think there is quite a few in there. Not loads, I've cut the top off of them, but you know, I never really expected much this year because it was spare at the moment and you know, I didn't really do it properly. Next year, I think I'll plan, do it all at the right time, shit like that. So, let's now see how many potatoes I've got. Oh, I just need to get a colander. Alright, so not loads, but that is about the same amount I had from the smaller buckets. In fact, saying I think the smaller buckets add more. And this was from some, you know when you buy the actual um, chipping potatoes or whatever it's called? This was from that. The other two were literally from potatoes I found in my... Um, Kitchen. That's not bad though, that'll be enough for three or four of us to have a dinner. I don't know what kind of potatoes they are. They might have had they been left longer grown 
into full size potatoes. I know the ones I did with the other ones were new potatoes, so they was never going to grow big anyway. But yeah, I'm happy with that. For for a sort of spur of the moment thing originally, that's not bad. This also arrived the other day. Just letting it have a nice little settle at the minute. I think what I'll do, because I was on about changing the bottles and that, I might leave it in this bottle until I drink it, and then what I'll do, just before I drink it, I'll rack it off, put it through a filter, just so there's no yeast in it. Um, yeah, and I'll be getting drunk soon. Well, I have cut down drinking, so, you know, you're only going to see me drink about once a month now. Right, there you go. Cheers, Jim. Right, that is it for my little... Um, mini harvest festival. Got some potatoes out of it at least. Alright, cheers everyone. See you later.